now, we have arrived at the Chrysler Building. And as we continue where we left off last time, welcome again to watch Scheherazade. One day, I will learn to how to pronounce that. It's so beautiful up here. Look, the Central Park and the Statue of Liberty. I should have come to the observation deck much earlier. Hold on, was that Anna or Sadie? I don't care. Whatever. This is the best. What would I ever do without loved ones like you and Auntie? Make it your graduation ceremony on time for one! Oh, for, nah. Too bad you can't go back at all, because I double clicked accidentally. Well, I don't know what happened there. We ever mute. Your speech is fine, Sadie. It was fine five drafts ago. I'm sure it's better now. Focus. So now we can improvise what Sadie said. Uh, my, my speech is so horrible. Uh, no one is going to like it. <laughs> yeah, that's what she said. We're going to go with that. No, seriously. When I'm up there blathering about what we learned, should I talk about you know, the things they thought in class? Or about everything else? All the wild experiments, maybe. That's just me. I must learn how to nap with my eyes open. I don't think I'm the person you should be asking. Yeah, yeah. Book learning it is. That's surely what I spent my time on anyway. <laughs> Geek! Seriously, Sadie. Clock first, last minute to rewrite second. Okay, okay. I wonder where are Evelyn and Johnny Eggy in the last piece of my ensemble. Stay! There's one of those coin machines over there, right by these maps. Aha! Uh -huh. Look at this map of the observation deck. I think that's a little picture of me. Johnny do on the Chrysler building. Eh, hey, I'm an anarchist. Eh. Hey. No pain, Anna. It's just a sticker. She peels it off. In any case, let's figure out where Auntie was trying to lead us. There's the east side of the deck, so we walk around uh, here. The telescope! My valedictory shash is inside, it's on it. <laughs> okay. CD rush over and spins around with the shash. Gleefully, what the fuck are these things? Sash! Morgosh, Morgosh board and. What the fuck are these things? I don't think I've ever seen someone so happy to find a slip of fabric. Yeah, indeed, just look at her face. Sadie is overjoyed with happiness. I can clearly tell. <laughs> I'm proud of my accomplishment. I'm happy to be here. Just a little victory dance. Stop being such a white blanket. She grabs Anna and does a waltz across the observation deck. La 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 la! Sadie, stop! People are staring! <laughs> okay, okay. You're up the hook for my birthday dance. For now. <laughs> it's funny. Losing this and the rest of the ensemble made me realize how much I'm looking forward to this. Then I guess this whole campaign has worked! I guess it's time to get to the high school for the ceremony. Except... Uh-oh! Oh, I know that! Look! What's wrong? One last mystery to solve! Sadie holds out the nickel that was in her robe pocket. What on earth is this? <laughs> what on earth is this for? Well, that's easy! Points to the telescope that Sadie's shash was hanging from. That's a pay viewfinder! You can look all over the city for a nickel! I might as well write this thing out to the end. Looks through the telescope. And the view is blocked. Sad face. CD reaches around the other side of the viewfinder and detaches a small note card. Johnny, A <clears throat> Seems to have stuck it on with used gum, sadly enough. Ugh. The note says they're downstairs. CD leaves the telescope. Does a quick check of the others on the deck to see if any more cards were left, and then starts walking towards the elevator. 
So, uh, what's your plan? To meet up with our dual masterminds, of course. I'm not sure whether to hug them or give them peace of my mind. Say the Anna burst out of the entrance to the Chrysler building and run up to Aunt Evelyn. I was upset at first, but that was kind of fun. Auntie! Flings her arms around Aunt Evelyn. Thank you for all of this. I was so nervous about my valedictory speech and you made them all melt away. Oh good, that's exactly what I and I were hoping for. You were driving me with wine with you all your practicing. It, I forgot her voice. What's that is? I guess so. Plus two relationship with Evelyn. Hey, don't I get out with things too? Don't push your luck, champ. Eh, this holy thing is utterly wet. Anna! I thought you said Auntie did this all herself! What am I, Chup Lila? I'm the true mastermind. <laughs> well, that wasn't entirely true. We knew you'd be able to find everything on your own oh. eventually, but we also didn't want you to be late to your graduation. I knew where everything was and came along and gave you a little hint when you called Stork. Why, why not just take me on an outing? Why go through all the trouble? Royal Sadie, would you have gone unless there was a mystery to solve? I suppose you're right. <laughs> Besides, they didn't do it alone. Someone helped them come up with all the clues after all. Is that ready? Oh my goodness, I want to say they were here, but I didn't think you come all the way from your mythics in Königsberg. How come haven't you come to say hello? Oh, he was planning to make an appearance a bit later at a dramatically appropriate moment. <laughs> Rude go on prison well. Forgive me, my dear Miss Sadie. I had a business that kept me from visiting. But trust me, nothing was going to keep me from seeing you graduate. I've awaited this for a long time. Finally, you've come to a... Oh, <coughs> um, um, yes, to graduation, of course. Ready. I fear that Evelyn and I cannot stay for long. We must make it to the auditorium ahead of you to prepare for the ceremony. But so sure you don't think that your old friend and mentor is complete. What is the term the boy used? Cheapskate piker? A hey! indicates a horse and a carriage behind her. Your journey to the school awaits. Oh, she's thrilled. See, Ruddy, I told you she'd be thrilled. Wow, a carriage? I'll be arriving in style. I believe it looks like... Is there a cake in there? All of the best for all, Sadie. We're scared and dangerous to close the edge on time. We should get going. Sadie hugs her friends with a tear in her eye. Love you. Thank you. Both of you. How ruddy, of course. <laughs> Beautiful ruddy. <laughs> I scarcely know what to say. Say nothing, just get in the carriage! They clamber in. Johnny says to Aunt Ellen, I should go with him, just in case. You know, they need help with the old cake thing. <laughs> Wouldn't want to let a lady force herself just to eat when she's not hungry. Oh, come on, you little rascal. There's enough room for one more. Shortly after. Sadie and the rest of her class are all packed together near the back of a large stage, waiting for a big show to be made of the giving of diplomas. Friends and family are all gathered in the audience. Sadie's trying hard not to look at where she'll be standing when she gives her speech. I can't believe this is really happening. We're about to close this chapter in our lives and move on to college. From Sadie's left side, Anna takes her hand and squeezes it. Squeeze, squeeze. She looks just as nervous as I do, and she's not even giving a speech in a few minutes. Whispering. Whispering. The musketeers have done it again. The friends are interrupted by a loud burst of feedback as Aunt Evelyn taps the hanging microphone. Is this thing on? Newfangled technology? Even I could donate. What? It is? 
I should have seen this coming. <laughs> Awkward. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Fraser Hyde and I are quite pleased to be here with all of you to celebrate the graduation of the fine young people you see before you. The crowd claps widely, with only the occasional wolf we shall tone in. I can't do that. <laughs> Are the two of the major patrons of the school? Um. The crowds clap and listen to us. Uh, thank you, thank you, it was nothing. Yeah, it was. Because of our statues at the major contributors to the <laughs> I keep losing her voice, god damn it. Thank you, thank you. It was nothing. Because of our status as the major contributors to the school, we were asked to introduce the graduation class of 1930 to you. She indicates the patiently waiting students behind her, and the crowd cheers. And although I've been donating generously, <coughs> I might have for more than 10 years now, I have personal stake in this particular class. You see, my dearest thief, Shahrazad Keating, is among their number. Oh dear, where are you going with this? As you all know, she's a bright girl. At least, that's the class one at the She better be! But oh, what does that say about everyone else? <laughs> that's better of a confused tittering from the crowd. Uh. Winks. Just a joke, of course. <laughs> the rich people here. <laughs> Honestly, no, I couldn't be prouder of my saving for her accomplishment and of the entire class of 1930 for theirs. But every year there can only be one student who acts as the mouthpiece for their generation the valedictorian. Dabs at her eyes with a hanky. <laughs> Sniff. Oh dear, I've grown so emotional. I simply cannot go on. Not without showing all of you my extensive collection of Sadie's baby pictures. Robin is around in her purse. Alert, 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 awkward, awkward levels rising. Raise shields, raise shields, raise shields, deflectors online. <laughs> Thank you, Evelyn. What a beautiful introduction. Surely your words will live on through the ages. Thank you, Ruddy. Thank you forever. I'll be yours forever. And I'm sure all of you are eager to hear what he, the class valedictorian, has to say. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce Miss Sadie Keating. Anna squeezes Sadie's hand, feeling dazed. Sadie gets up from her seat and walks to the podium. She blinks her eyes in the harsh light and looks down at the note cards in her hand. These are my friends. Just relax and talk to them. This really isn't about the crowd, is it? It's about my classmates and being a voice for them. I know them well. I've struggled through school with them for four years. Speaking into the microphone. I had a speech prepared for today, but you know what? I don't need it. Tosses her note cards joyously in the crowd. Whee! A murmur ripples through the auditorium as Sadie can feel her classmates' eyes boring curiously into her back. I am the class one Victorian. I got here today through hard work, studying, studying, and more studying. And by putting school first above all else. From the beginning, we thought to work hard and study, to be responsible. You may not know this, but today is my birthday. <laughs> I was set up from spending the entire day indoors, practicing my prepared speech and learning every word down pat. Because that, after all, was the proper and responsible thing to do. But then my best friend showed up, Anna. Hello! And she, my own, oh, 
and my mentor. <laughs> and that one cake lovey kid. Hey. I determined to help me spend my last day of high school and my first day of adulthood enjoying myself, not consuming myself with too much work and worry. I will always be grateful to the three. <laughs> four. Hey. Of them for teaching me my last life lessons before graduating high school. Our work is important and it always will be. It's a part of accomplishing our dreams at the same time, however, you have to take the time to be with your friends and family, to laugh, enjoy life and learn lessons that can't come out of a book. So turns to the students behind her and away from the mic. Get out there. Get out there and work hard, get out there and study, but most importantly of all, get out there and have fun, because there's more life than hard work. As valedictorian, that's really the only thing I have to say to my classmates, and I'd like to congratulate them in the class of 1930 on its outstanding achievement. Sadie walks back to her seat and sits down in silence with tears in her eyes, and then gives her a hug. The students around them erupt in applause. Thank you, Sadie. Well, that was inspiring. A slightly difficult to hear S speech. Now we're going to begin reading the names. Great job, Sadie. Thanks, but I could have done it without you. Sadie applauds and cheers as the names of her classmates are read, adding some extra oomph to Anna's walk across the stage. That was the oomph. Finally, the entire class is sitting back in their seats with their diplomas. May I present to you the class of 1930? The crowd cheers. Hey! We're all done with high school. What's next, while well, Victorian? Next, we are tackling college, of course. But first, Sadie moves the tassel in her motorboat to the opposite side and immediately takes her hand up and holds it in one hand. You ready? Oh, you know who I am! And two friends, along with the entire graduating class, throw their motorboards in the air. So yeah, that's the motorboard. It's that fucking weird graduation cap hat that them you Americans have. Phyllis Carter, one last interjection. You have one major choice left to make before Sadie's story begins in earnest. How hard would you like the game to be? The easiest setting for casual players, obstacle difficulty we about, yeah, okay. The normal setting is fairly challenging, okay. Okay. The hardest setting, no. We'll go with normal. Understood. Now then, let me just offer two last tips and then I'll let you on your way. First, don't underestimate the role of the <gasps> hiccups in the game. <gasps> God damn it! <coughs> sorry. Ah, sorry. Regardless of the difficulty level you've chosen, highest levels of stress when you succeed in the was extremely difficult. I remember there's another one last one that allows you to reduce stress. Okay, yeah. Second, there are many different possible endings in which you achieve them on your height or your dream or relationship scores. You say the first of your professors while well, the hundred points while well, her dream of a general was set to ten. Well, the final season of the game will be of friendship rather than romance. Yeah. A professor romancing a professor. Okay. This doesn't mean that romance isn't real. It's only that at the end of Sadie's year, she'll be spending time with this person or person with whom she shares the strongest bond. Just something to consider. Now then, I wish you the very best of luck. Enjoy your time with Shahrazad. And now we have graduated, and I'll see you in the next episode. Ta-ta, you lovelies.